All right, so my name is Nick Mitchell. I am the owner of Hillside Power Performance. I am a uh, strength coach and a uh, competitive powerlifter uh, based in Los Angeles, California. Uh, today, I just want to cover two uh, quick exercises you can do for the upper back. Um, I think the upper back is underdeveloped in a lot of our sports today with kids. Um, a lot of soccer players suffer uh, injuries of concussion, and the assumption is that they have to do extensive neck work, which is true. Um, however, if you have a strong upper back, whether it's football, boxing, cheerleading, soccer, uh, wrestling, uh, any sport anywhere where you're going to have contact that upper area, uh, really having a strong upper back benefits. So one would be the shoulder shrugs. Everybody does them. The problem that I see is if you go to your local gyms, you see people kind of rounded and they're just kind of shrugging up and down like this. Try to hit this top head. People don't realize that the trap is a little bit longer than that. It actually goes from here right down to the rhomboid, um, and that whole area needs to be built up. Uh, to help support uh, not only your upper back strength, but your neck as well. Um, so one thing I like to do is called more of a wheelbarrow shrug, where you take your kettlebells or dumbbells. I like kettlebells because they're more versatile compared to dumbbells, um, but you're just going to kind of give it a little swing. So chin down and tuck, kettlebell forward, and squeeze back. Right there, kind of hitting the top of the head, all through that area, which a lot of bodybuilders like to call the diamond. And if you crank out about 20 good reps of that with a good heavy weight, you'll feel a nice pump and burn. Second thing is a finisher. I do these depending on band color, uh, reps of 100, sometimes even sets of four sets of 25, where I just take a band and do like a lot of face pulls. So it's just taking a nice band, great, getting great tension right there. Thinking of it having a credit card in the middle of your back you want to squeeze and just pulling that band to your head. A lot of people kind of wave it back, but you really want the elbows to lead the way. So pulling the band apart, elbows out, touch your head, release straight. You do want to extend fully and just keep squeezing just like this. Hit those as your finishers uh, on any upper body day. You can even throw them in if you're doing a deadlift day and you want to work that whole backside. Uh, either way, it's a great finisher and a great way to build the upper back.